Ghana herbal medicine industry may suffer a major setback as the mahogany tree species, which is a major ingredient in the production of herbal products, go into extinction. According to Executive Director of the Center for Plant Medicine Research, Professor Alex Asase, the plant is currently being imported into the country, a phenomenon that threatens growth of the herbal medicine industry. Nanaya Ojima has more in this report. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has listed mahogany among endangered wood species. In the last 30 years, the natural habitat of mahogany has seen a 30% reduction in population due to uncontrolled harvesting and illegal logging. Research has shown the debarking of trees for medicinal purposes negatively affects the growth of the trees. This is another factor for their extension. Professor Alex Asase of the Center for Plant Medicine Research explains the widespread use of the plant in the Ghanaian herbal industry. Most of the um, tonics um, make use of Kaya Senegalensis. Most of the herbal beverages, and in this country, there are several alcoholic bitters. Most of them make use of Kaya Senegalensis, which is mahogany. And so it's having a huge impact. The World Health Organization has projected the global market for herbal products will be worth 5 trillion US dollars by the year 2050. It is also estimated 951 tons of crude herbal medicines were sold at Ghana's herbal markets in 2010 with a total value of around 7.8 million dollars for the economic benefits Professor Asase is calling for investment in cultivating medicinal plants. If you take a plant like Kaya Senegalensis, which is used in most of the herbal medicine preparations, now most suppliers will have to even go outside Ghana to get huge quantities for use. So that tells you that this plant is no longer common in, in, in the country. So we, there should be a deliberate effort to cultivate medicinal plants. Um, most of the suppliers of plant parts now go to the world to harvest these plants. We don't cultivate, so it's not from a sustainable source. And so that is one thing that we need to promote. Meanwhile, the Ghana Skills Development Fund, in collaboration with the World Bank and other government agencies, has offered a training grant to Ebenage Herbal Production and Consult. Students of herbal medicine at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology will also benefit from the training grant. Ebenezer Ajman is founder of Ebenage Herbal. In celebration, we decided to rather train our staff or build their capacity so that um, they will in turn improve our quality of services. And you know, herbal medicine is growing and the only way to make it better than it used to be is education or increasing knowledge for joy news nanaya ochima kumasi